Hello everybody, my name is Brexter and welcome to my Euro 2020 journey with England of can I do it better, which means I have to win the bloody Euros to do it better, where we come off the back of quite a disappointing 1-1 draw to Croatia. They, we conceded in like the 93rd minute. So to do it as good, we have to beat... Scotland and Czech Republic, which are both of our games in this episode. So we're going to kick off with Scotland and finish with Czech Republic, and then we'll see who we've got in the knockout stages, uh, which will then be in the next episode, to which every episode past that point will just be one of the knockout stage matches, just so I don't reveal too much as to how far I get. So... Uh, what I'll do is I'll progress forward to the Scotland game. Uh, hopefully we get no injuries beforehand, but if we do, I will show you them. Right, so I've done the team. Um, it's very similar to last time. Uh, it is Kane up top. Uh, well, I say similar to last time, and then we get to the attacking midfielders. We've got Kane up top, and then we've got Grealish as a replacement for the injured Sterling. We have uh, Phil Foden filling in for Mason Mount, because I feel like Phil Foden's a little bit better, a little bit more versatile, and I'm putting him on Rome from position, so I'm hoping he can tear apart this Scottish side, um, and maybe him roaming might stop them from man marking us uh saka down this right hand side uh as a replacement for phil foden uh then we've got phillips and rice in that midfield as they've done a really good job last time and then we're not changing the defense because i feel like they did a really good job as well um but obviously we just conceded that late goal so i've got to revert to a backup style right at the end uh, just in case Right, so looking at their side, it's quite expected, really. You've got Turney and Robertson, who are obviously two of their better players. Scott McTominay, who I'm a massive fan of, is also in that team. Ollie McBurney, Lee Griffiths, uh, Christie's in there. Um, obviously, a little bit different to the team they actually played against us. But ho fingers crossed, it all works. Right, so we're into the game. Uh, there's an early highlight um, I don't. I, ne I never know how to feel about early highlights, but Forrest is coming forward. We've got to get in the way of this cross, but Pickford comes across and collects that ball confidently. Pickford puts it over the top to Harry Kane. Kane puts it down to Grealish, who puts it into Saka, who was great in the uh, friendly matches we played before the tournament. Uh, Saka puts it into Rice, into Phillips. There's room down this left-hand side with Luke Shaw, but they're not finding it. Saka's got the ball again. It, Phil Foden's through, and Phil Phil Foden scores. We really that roaming of position for Phil Foden worked a treat there. Harry came with a lovely assist. There was room down those uh, wings, but for whatever reason we didn't use it. Saka puts a nice ball into Kane. Kane puts it into Foden, who made a nice run, and Foden gets the goal. Early goal for us against Scotland. It's not going to be nil nil this time. <laughs> And we are 1-0 up against against Scotland, which possibly put us top of the um, top of the table as well. Suck us through! Suck us through while I was explaining something. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but Saka was through. Just out the corner of my eye, I saw the, the screen just rush over. Grealish puts it in. Oh, Stones has hit the post. We are peppering them at this point, uh, really putting pressure on them. I don't know whether to maybe play a little bit wider just because um, just because they're defending quite narrow. Uh, I might play a little bit wider. Let's see, it, see if that works. If it doesn't work, I will just revert back. But um, they, they seem to have been defending quite narrow. So I don't mind maybe trying to stretch them out a little bit and stopping them. Saka! Oh, Kyle Walker with the with, with the throw in. Saka with the goal. And Saka gets his, uh, for his goal in the Euros. Uh, really happy with that. Saka scored in pre-season, which was his first goal for England. 
and then he scored here. Saka so, like was a star of the actual Euros, and he's a star of this one already. Um, this this from this free behind Kane seems to be working a little bit better. That maybe that uh, roaming of position for Phil Foden might actually be causing them issues, like I was hoping it would be. And we just seem to be tearing Scotland apart here. Hopefully, we don't make any mistakes uh, that bring them back into the game. But if we can keep this up, we can really uh, we can really improve our goal difference and put a statement in uh, go in this tournament and really and just make all the other teams nervous hopefully uh they're passing it around really nicely though forest is coming forward again his pace is always dangerous but he puts it wide luckily for us they are playing like a classic 4-4-2 formation uh none of their players are performing reasonably well um i was hoping that you know getting the width in will uh, drag them out i might drag them back in at the start of this uh half i'll just uh, tell them I'm very pleased with the team and then what I'll do is I'll switch it up again and go back to being fairly narrow which is what I prefer but I was hoping if we stretch them if we then come back into the middle it might cause them a few issues and hopefully it does as well um but they've had absolutely nothing they've had that one shot from Forest, and that is it and uh, they're not really doing much else. Grealish has a corner. He puts it over the top. Mings. Oh, it goes over the bar, though. It was a good corner routine. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. <laughs> I like it when uh, our corner routines go well. That's where our, the goal from the first game came from was a, was a corner. So it shows that we can be dangerous from these set pieces. McGregor puts in a lovely ball to Forrest. Pickford's in no man's land. But luckily, he manages to, to get the save. Um, I don't know why we weren't picking up Forrest there. Um, McBurney puts it in. Let me have a look at what position Forrest is playing because he seems to be tearing us apart at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll press him, uh, tight marking, and show him onto his weaker foot as well. Just really, really put some pressure on Forrest. Take him out of the game because he's the only one really that's put it, that's doing anything for Scotland at the moment. Uh, we are going into about the 17th minute. I might pay might pay to make a sub. I'll probably sub off Grealish. He seems a little bit tired, which doesn't surprise me because he played the entirety of the last match, um, as well as this one, um, with obviously Sterling getting injured, which obviously isn't like real life. But you know, it's whether I can do it better, not whether I can do the exact same journey. So. Rice puts it into Saka. Saka's running through. There's no support, but Saka goes on his own and nearly scores a wonderful goal. Um, what I will do is I will take off uh, Jackie Grealish. Um, I don't know who to bring on, though, because uh, there's not many people down that left-hand side. Um, I could put in Mason Mount uh, and put uh, Phil Foden on this left-hand side um, and put Mason Mount in the middle there and see if that works um i will put leave him as an inside forward as well i will take off declan rice uh for james ward prowse i will bring on james ward prowse again uh switch those two around to make phillips the more defensive minded player and i might leave it as that for now because i might take off uh harry kane if i get the opportunity to just to keep him fresh for the rest of the tournament uh, but I don't want to make all three subs early on. But Bernie with a nice header from the free kick. But luckily it amounts to absolutely nothing. We are getting towards the end now. Oh, there seems to be a highlight. It went to pause, but there seems to be a highlight. If we can get a third goal, I will substitute Harry Kane immediately. Mason Mount is through. Oh, it doesn't really do anything though. We have to pick up this ball. McBurney heads it away, but look, uh, but luckily Mings picks it up. Walker's got it now into Harry Kane, but it goes to absolutely nobody. Um, and now they... Oh, I was about to say they come for a counter-attack, but Walker had a... With a great header, Mason Mount is running down this right-hand side into Kyle Walker, but it amounts to nothing. And now they can really press the counter-attack if, if they want to, because we've got... Kyle Walker isn't there. Fraser's through into McBurney. What a tackle. What a tackle. I think that was by John Stones. That is, that is a game-saving tackle there. Uh, I'm going to put in... Um, what I might do, actually, is I might put in Danny Ings and put him as an advance forward and just see if we could put a bit of pressure on that back line uh, right at the death of the game. 
And I don't really want to make many other substitutions. I feel like we've got backups in all of those positions, especially for the next uh, next game. We get Maguire and Henderson back for the next game, obviously. Uh, but a nice 2-0 win against Scotland will be perfect. And it is a lovely 2-0 win against Scotland. Uh, brilliant performance by all of the lads uh that especially that started not a single performance under seven uh which is brilliant just a nice solid performance nothing too special but special nonetheless because we did beat scotland who are our rivals so you know that is a big victory so we're on four points now which i think does mean that we've qualified for the next stage of the european championships obviously uh, a lot of the third place teams do go through but on four points i think that will be enough um, so it's all about us bettering Croatia's score to finish top of the group, uh, which is weirdly enough when I did my Euros predictions, that's what I thought the situation would be. Uh, so I'm just doing what I thought we'd do in the Euros, really. Um, but yeah, so next game is against Czech Republic. Um, so we'll fast forward to that game and I'll show you what, what team we will face Czech Republic with. Uh, before we go into the knockout stages. I'll see you there. Right, so I thought I'd bring you to your attention before we get to the game uh, that we have qualified. It hasn't said that we have qualified, but obviously it is the two best teams in each group and then uh, the four other best teams from each group sort of thing. But Turkey got one point, Russia got three points, Denmark going out with three losses, which is a surprise. Uh, Ukraine and North Macedonia both being on three points as well. But us being on four means that we'll go through. So, so yeah, we're guaranteed to go through uh, even if we finish in third. But obviously, we don't want that. We want to win. Of course, we want to win. So, let's show you the team that's going to win. Right, so uh, what I have done for this game is I've changed up a few things. Uh, tried to get the fitness of a couple of people up as well. So we've got Kane up front, obviously, because he's been playing well so far. He's got gold and assists, so hopefully he can carry on that momentum. We've got Grealish on the left, Foden in the middle, and Sancho on the right-hand side. As a winger, I was, I'm was i hoping that he can stretch the opposition a little bit. We've got Henderson to get a bit of uh, fitness back and Declan Rice in midfield. Uh, we've also got uh, Ben Chilwell, Harry Maguire again to get fitness up. Stones and Walker in defence because Walker has two man in the match performances in his first two games. So I don't really want to drop him. And then we've got Pickford in goal. Um... Obviously, I'm, I'm tempted to maybe put Callum Phillips in over Rice uh, just because Rice has got two yellow cards so far. Uh, but I feel as though let's just see who we've got in the next round. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Let's just put Phillips in. I, d I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. So I'm putting in Phillips. I don't want to risk Rice. This is the team that's going to be beat Czech Republic. Let's go. Right, so you're looking at uh, Czech Republic's team. They've got some really nice players. They've got Suchek in there. Uh, they've got Patrick Schick, who was a star of the Euros, really. He really shone in this Euros. Um, so hopefully we can keep him quiet and get a win and finish top of this group. Right, so our final group game of, of the Euros um, is against Czech Republic, as it was in real life. Uh, hopefully... Oh, nice save by Pickford. Hopefully, we do not uh, drop any points here. Obviously, Czech Republic were tough opposition when we faced them. I think we only beat them 1-0. It was uh, a very, I wouldn't say cagey affair, but it was one of those games where, you know, we, we were through. So, it was more a case of trying to build momentum for the team. And that's kind of how it feels here. Except from the differences, I really do need to win this match. I want to finish top of the group because I want to do it better. And the only way I can feel like I've done it properly better is not only to win it, but to finish top of the group as well, similar to them. Walker's through. Kyle Walker with one, <laughs> one lovely goal. Calvin Phillips with the assist. Kyle Walker has been an absolute star. For me during this Euros. Uh, Jack Grealish 
uh, cutting in on the inside. Sancho then got it into Phillips and Walker made a lovely run and then he just absolutely blasted it in the top left hand corner. What a start. Goal in the first 10 minutes against Czech Republic. Uh, I should really get the table up but I haven't I will get that table up in a minute. Phillips is stepping up for the free kick. Calvin Phillips with a lovely free kick. And we go 2-0 up against the Czech Republic. That kind of confirms, really, that we are going to finish top of this group. We are three goals ahead of Croatia in terms of goal difference. So if we don't concede, we are going to look really, really good. Um, we've got another highlight already. This is ridiculous. Chilwell's got it. He puts it into Jackie Grealish. Jack Grealish down this left-hand side. He puts it into Jordan Henderson, and Jordan Henderson misses, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to change this to the league table. There we go. So I can see what's going on. And Scott McTominay has scored for Scotland, so it's a massive uphill battle now for... Uh, for Croatia to finish top of this group so we should be safe and Chilwell's running down this left hand side he needs to put across and he doesn't oh, oh I didn't know what was going on there the ball was just pinging off all over the place so I feel quite content now I feel quite relaxed um because obviously we are 2-0 up um but I don't really know who to take off I might take off a couple at half time it, it might not be a bad shout to do. Um, being being tuned up and cruising. Hands in pockets, I'm going to say that we're doing really well. Um, what I will do is I will take off uh, Jack Grealish uh, for Mason Mount for now. Um, and, put, and swap him and Foden around. Um, I'm trying to look at who else I might want to bring off. I'm tempted to bring off... Uh, Harry Kane to be honest um, but I don't, I don't want to bring him off uh, what I will do is I'll bring off Kyle Walker for Aaron Rambasaka just to shore things up at the back a little bit and we'll go into the second half uh, we've we've still got about three substitutions left to use in this second half now Perisic has scored an early goal but so has N Nisbet for uh, Scotland so that Scotland are still winning that game Phil Foden has got the ball here he's running away with it he, he's, I know, he's got incredible pace Phil Foden but unfortunately he can't finish it for us um, oh, yeah Scotland are still winning this game so I do feel as though we can possibly take off a few players here um, one more goal will really make me feel happy. Like I, a three nil, I do like. Uh, Wamba Saka isn't the best at crosses, uh, but it was a pretty decent cross to be fair. Um, and they, we've given away a free kick to them. Uh, they tried to pull it over the top, but Mason Mount has picked up the ball, puts it into Jaden Sancho, puts it into Phil Foden, who puts it away. And we are freeing up against the Czech Republic. That was a lovely move. Mason Mount started it, then went to Sancho, and then to Foden. Lovely, lovely stuff by our team here. We, we've, I, I'm happy with how we've done in this group stage. Yes, we had the disappointment of the Kwasu game, but you know you've got to face those disappointments at some point and i'm glad we faced it in the group stage and not later in the competition uh what i will do now though is i will start resting players so harry kane off phil foden off for uh bukayo saka uh, on this left hand side um i don't i probably need to put him as an inverted winger though um although isn't he left footed he is left footed so i can just put two wingers on the pitch lovely stuff there um, and then I'm tempted to put, bring off Calvin Phillips and bring on uh, Bellingham because Bellingham hasn't really done much in this competition so far. So if we just swap them two around, John Lenderson can do a bit of uh, ball winning. Uh, actually, we might put him as a deep line playmaker. Uh, and put Bellingham as a box-to-box -box and see how that works. Uh, if we do get time, I will take off John Stones as well, just to rest him up. And then that would have every single person rested. Actually, if we've done five, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've done five, so we can't take off John Stones, but that's fine. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. This is where we get sent off. Um, but I'm sure we'll be fine. As time is ticking away, I will praise the team uh, for their performance because a 3-0 win 
uh, when it let's be honest we had already qualified is a very very good uh performance by the team let's not let it drop now though let's not let it drop now let's not let it drop now wamba saka is put in there i don't know who uh came in it might have been Chilwell that helped save it as well so luckily no drop goals there it looks like scotland are actually going to beat croatia um <laughs> fair play to scotland they're get, getting a goal uh, getting a win at in the tournament is better than what they did in real life but they've Kremicic I, I don't know his name he missed anyway it doesn't matter he missed anyway Chilwell into Mason Mount into Saka Saka into Calvert-Lewin Calvert-Lewin mucked it up but Sancho picked it up Jordan Henderson over the top to Bakayo Saka who crosses it in to absolutely nobody uh, and then they're coming forward again they're trying to get a goal John Stones with a last, last ditch tackle that actually scared me a little bit Jane Sancho down this right hand side this is just going mental Calvert-Lewin, Bellingham, Saka again, Bukayo Saka is being an absolute star he's been a star in this Euros he, 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 he's come off the bench a couple of times, he's scored a couple of times and he's kind of putting in the fact that he should star whoever we've got in the next game Bellingham with the assist as well lovely stuff by Bellingham that is actually a partnership that developed in the friendly matches as well uh, but a lovely 4-0 win against Ch Czech Republic that is a statement an absolute statement victory uh, Calvin Phillips uh, with uh, the man of the match performance well deserved there and yeah we, we got what we wanted a thoroughly professional job I'm really happy with that and yeah, let's uh, see who we're going to have in the knockout rounds. Uh, Scotland did actually win, but it wasn't enough uh, to beat Czech Republic to that third place uh, finish. Although all of our goals nearly managed it. Uh, Croatia are the other team that qualify from the group as well. Um, so yeah, I will fast forward and we'll see who we've got in the first knockout round. Right, so the draw has been done, but I will show you the third place teams that did qualify because that changes who you face in the next round. So obviously, if so, if the third place teams come from certain groups, then that messes around who place it faces who. And the third place teams that qualified were Russia, Ukraine, Czech Republic and Poland. Hungary finished second in the group. Germany drew against Hungary and lost to the other two. Hungary drew against Germany and France. Fair play to them. Um, so, yeah, and Czech Republic managed to sneak in even with the 4-0 loss that we gave them. Um, which does mean that teams like Wales, Turkey, Denmark all missing out. Scotland missing out and obviously Germany being the big ones missing out there. So you must be thinking, who have we got? Who have England got? Poland. England have got Poland in the next round, which funnily enough was one of the friendly matches that we played where Bakayo Saka absolutely tore them apart. It's also the one that we played five at the back in, which gives me some some things to think about. Do I go five at the back because we, that's what we've beaten with last time or do I stick to what I think will get us to the win and that is the four at the back system I do think that will get us the win uh, looking at the draw though uh, and because obviously some of you will probably be interested actually in who faces who so we've got uh, Austria facing Czech Republic France facing Croatia Holland facing Finland uh, England facing Poland Switzerland facing Portugal, Russia facing Sweden Spain versus Italy which was the semi-finals in real life but not on this, and Ukraine facing Belgium. I wonder how Spain and Italy managed to face each other. That is bonkers to me. How, uh, where did Spain, fi Spain finish second in their group, and so did Italy? Oh, that explains it. Um, but yeah, so we will be facing Poland in the next episode. That will be the one and only game in that episode. So join us for that one, and see if we can make it past, past that first knockout round. Um, but if you have enjoyed the video, please hit that like button to show me that you are enjoying this series and are enjoying the can I do it better element of the series. Um, comment down below uh, what team you would pick to face Poland. Would you go with the four at the back or would you go with the five uh, that beat them in the friendly matches last time? Uh, and if you're new here, please do subscribe uh, so you do not miss an episode of this. And I shall see all of you in the next video. See ya. Oh,